Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about high performance thin layer chromatography. In short, it is known as HPTLC. HPTLC is advanced version of TLC that is thin layer chromatography. So I would like to suggest you to please watch my previous video of TLC for better understanding of HPTLC. Now coming to the principle of HPTLC. HPTLC is based on the principle of adsorption. So principle of HPTLC is based on adsorption phenomena. In adsorption, our mobile phase will migrate over stationary phase due to capillary action and this capillary action acts against gravitational force and the separation takes place due to affinity of affinity of solute with stationary phase and with mobile phase. If affinity of solute with stationary phase is higher, then separation will be or RF value will be lower down and if affinity of analyte or uh, sample is higher with mobile phase then RF value of that particular sample will be higher. So this is the uh, principle behind HPTLC. Now uh, coming to the aim of HPTLC. So basic aim of any chromatography is separation. Okay. So here also aim of HPDLC is separation. Okay. So after separation, we can identify our compound, we can quantify our compound, or we can isolate our compound by using micro preparative method. As I have already discussed the preparative TLC, it is uh, same uh, like preparative TLC. So what happens in identification? In identification, how we can identify our analyte? We will use any standard substance or any marker compound. Then we will uh, put a band or uh, generally we are putting band in HPTLC rather than uh, spots. So we will put a band of our sample and we will put a band of our standard. Then RF value of standard and RF value of sample should be matched. After matching, we can identify whether that sample is or that uh, analyte is present in our sample or not. Now coming to the quantification. In quantification, we can <coughs> we can put uh, different concentration bands of standard. Then we will put a sample band. Okay. Then by using different concentration or a standard band, we will plot our calibration curve and by using that calibration curve equation, we can determine the concentration of uh, that particular compound or analyte in our sample. Okay. Now coming to the next one which is micro preparation. What is micro preparation? As I have already discussed about preparative TLC. What happens in preparative TLC? It is alternate of column chromatography. Means isolation of uh, some analyte or some compounds takes place by uh, preparative TLC. Okay, but the amount will be very less as compared to column. So here also by using uh, preparative HPTLC plate, we can isolate uh, a small amount of analyte or uh, our compound okay so these are the aims or purpose of HPTLC now coming to the advantages of HPTLC So these are the advantages of HPTLC. First one is offline. Uh, first, what what is the meaning of offline uh, evolution? First, we have to develop our HPTLC plate, and after development, we will dry that HPTLC plate, and after drying, we can evaluate uh, that HPTLC plate later on by using uh, HPTLC 
स्केनर सो दिस इज बेसिकली एडवांटेज ऑफ एचपीटीएलसी बिकॉज इन एचपीएलसी एचपीएलसी इज ऑनलाइन सिस्टम व्हाट हैपेंस इन एचपीएलसी इन एचपीएलसी वंस वी आर इंजेक्टिंग आवर सैंपल देन वी हैव टू कंप्लीट दैट एनालिसिस एट अ टाइम अदरवाइज आवर कॉलम विल आवर कॉलम विल बी चोक्ड आवर सैंपल कंटामिनेशन मे बी देयर ओके सो दिस इज एडवांटेज ऑफ एचपीटीएलसी ओवर द एचपीएलसी और एनी अदर क्रोमेटोग्राफिक मेथड सेकंड वन इज नो कंटामिनेशन ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राम व्हाट हैपेंस इन एचपीटीएलसी इन एचपीटीएलसी एवरी टाइम वी आर यूजिंग न्यू एचपीटीएलसी प्लेट सो देयर इज नो चांसेस ऑफ कंटामिनेशन ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राम बट इन कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी और इन एचपीएलसी we are using same column for various samples so there may be chances of contamination so this is the advantage of hpdlc now coming to the third one which is simplest and the fastest why it is simplest because it is uh, just advanced version of tlc and the tlc is one of the one of the simplest chromatographic method and why it is fastest because in hpdlc at a time we can run 22 sample okay 22 sample can run at a time but in hplc or any other column chromatography we can run only a single sample okay so 22 sample will take around 15 to 20 minute for development and after de development we can evaluate that uh, plate by using hplc scanner and that hplc scanner will take hardly it will take 30 to 40 minutes for complete analysis or complete evaluation now coming to the next one which is low running cost in hptlc hardly we we requires 15 to 20 or 30 ml solvents so it is very less as compared to hplc and uh, there will be no requirement of washing or anything in hptlc as compared to uh, hplc so uh, hptlc is having some advantage and because it is low running cost next advantage of hptlc is large feedway so uh, what is uv there will be uv lamp according to uv lamp it will uh, detect our compound and uh, according to fluorescence also it can detect our compound that is uh, uv and fluorescence all this system are uh, already present in our hptlc scanner and uh, spectral details what is spectral details in spectral detail hptlc instrument or hptlc scanner will give the spectra of that particular detected spot okay means it will give uv spectra for that particular compound so uh, this is the advantage of hptlc now coming to the <coughs> next part of hptlc which is stationary phase so in hptlc generally we are using silica gel gf254 as a stationary phase so what is the composition of silica gel gf254 as i have already told uh, silica gel gf254 means it will be sio2 sio2 gf gf g4 gypsum it will be calcium sulfate plus f f means uh, fluorescent material which is zinc silicate now what is difference between hptlc and the tlc uh, in tlc also same uh, stationary phase can be used so difference is particle size here particle size of stationary phase will be 7 micrometer and second difference is thickness of our uh, stationary phase or th thickness of our plate in tlc it is 250 micrometer but in hptlc it is 100 micrometer so um, <coughs> why it is not as high performance because here particle size of uh, silica gel is 7 micrometer but in tlc it is uh, 15 micrometer average particle size is 15 micrometer in tlc so by decreasing the particle size surface area will be increased by increasing the surface area performance of our method will be increased by increasing the efficiency by increasing the resolution 
एंड बाय डिक्रीजिंग द एनालिसिस टाइम ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफिक मेथड so these are the details about stationary phase now i am showing you the hpdlc plate so this is uh, hpdlc plate and uh, physically there is no difference between uh, hpdlc plate and uh, tlc plate when you, you will observe by your naked eye okay but there is difference of particle size size and uh, thickness of thickness of this plate okay so from front uh, it is silica gel uh, gf254 that is stationary phase and from back side uh, there will be aluminum supporting material okay so uh, this is the hptlc plate now coming to the next part which is mobile phase or solvent used in hptlc so what is mobile phase and how we will select or uh, choose our mobile phase or uh, solvent system in hptlc or in tlc i have already discussed this mobile phase section in episode 3 of tlc okay so you can watch that video for details about mobile phase as link is available uh, at your uh, upper right corner okay now coming to the uh, one more thing which is very important which is vapor phase what is vapor phase means if we are using any mobile phase then saturation of the chamber is required saturation of hpdlc chamber is very essential because if we are uh, using any hpdlc chamber and uh, we are using any solvent system so in that hptlc chamber presence of air will be there so to remove that air from our uh, hptlc chamber we are using saturation saturation means we will keep our mobile phase for uh, around 30 minutes so all air will be replaced by vapor of that particular mobile phase if air will be present then if our solvent system will run run through the stationary phase then air will be able to or air will uh, dry our mobile phase uh, from surface and uh, it will take more time and uh, separation will not uniform that is why saturation of the chamber is very essential and the selection of mobile phase uh, was discussed in tlc section so now in next part of this video i am going to discuss about the various steps involved in hptlc methodology of uh, hptlc thank you